Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Rajan Sharma, and uh, this is the final part of video call functionality using Firebase 2021. So, you know, guys, in this tutorial, we will do actually two things. First of all, we will handle bug of video call functionality tutorial. Second, we will add ringtone functionality. So, whenever you will receive a call in video call activity, so you know the default ringtone of your mobile will start playing. So, in this tutorial, actually, we are going to do these two things. Most importantly. And uh, you know, guys. So uh, this is, you can say this is the final tutorial of uh, social media app using Firebase. Understand? And uh, for the source code, you can join the membership. And uh, you know, guys. Uh, the problem in this uh, video call functionality is uh, when the device is in background and uh, you try to make a video call, so it will show a notification of V and the sender UID. And that is absolutely not a good feature. So in this tutorial, I will just use a little bit more real-time database instead of Firebase Messaging SDK. So we can solve this problem, this bug, and then our functionality, video call functionality will work absolutely fine. So without wasting time, let's start. So guys, first of all, you can see that this is our project social media app, understand? So here, first of all, you know, open video call incoming activity. And uh, there is a change that I have to do here. You know, in decline button, we are creating a method set response, and here you have to remove this line. Yes. Now after that, we can proceed. So first of all, guys, here what exactly we have to do? You know, we will do two tasks. As I earlier said, that uh, adding in tone, handling bugs. Understand? So you know, guys, the problem is that. So first of all, for this open Firebase messaging service, and uh, just remove this complete thing from here and uh, then start call remove this and uh, now we have removed almost every thing I mean the if and as a statement yeah now we removed it fine now going this uh, outgoing and uh, here we are making the call so call invitation yes so here you have to give social book and instead of this write incoming video call that's all and uh, now we have the call so we can uh, this is outgoings yeah receive a token social book incoming video call we are not doing we i mean die if and else statement here anymore understand yeah now after uh, removing that uh, join meeting and uh, removing that we can proceed here so simply click on this and create a new java class and that will be model class so simply write uh, video or you can say no video call model enter and uh, then after that simply write string and uh, after that string here uh, so after that the uh, string should be caller uid semicolon then public video call model an empty constructor and uh, then we have to select this alt plus insert getter and setter control plus a enter and uh, then cut it from here and uh, paste it here now that's all for this understand now after that create one more class and uh, because we are going to use little bit more real time database for solving the bug of uh, wrong notification yeah so after that here um, we are going to give it name um, check video call enter now we have the class check video call so here first of all you have to declare a reference database reference and that will be video check video call reference and uh, yeah that's okay check video call reference you can give small reference but it is for more easy to understand and then string that is going to be sender uid semicolon understand now after that write public void and that will be check incoming yes now we have the method check incoming now after that check video call reference check video call reference equals to firebase 
database dot get instance dot get reference and the reference is going to be um vc normal very short reference vc that's all okay after that simply write firebase user user equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current dot oh shit equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user then string current uid equals to user dot get uid semicolon done now after that create context 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 equals to null initialize it semicolon fine now after that we are going to use uh, you can say uh, try and catch very basic try then catch an exception and uh, that's going to be e okay done now here you have to write is check video call reference then dot child current user id and then dot add value event listener new value event listener done and uh, in the bottom you have to give a semicolon now after that inside this on data change we will handle so simply write if snapshot dot exist so we can proceed done then else then we can proceed fine now after that here you have to do is simply write sender uid equals to snapshot dot child understand and now the child so the child that we created here simply copy it from here control plus c then go back and you have to paste that here and then dot get value dot to string get value dot to string semicolon done now we have this okay so after that simply write intent 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 equals to new intent and then context i will explain everything just now follow me so after that video call incoming dot class done then semicolon not now write dot set flags and that is going to be again intent dot new task then semicolon then intent dot put extra and that is going to be suid done then send a uid semicolon and after that context dot start activity and pass intent done now in the else part and in the catch uh, part you can show a toast message like uh, blah 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 exception e dot get localized message done and you can also handle something here that's okay you know so here exactly guys what we are doing we have created a class where we will check the reference of uh, video call if you will make a call so we will create a child in real time database that we have not coded yet we will just uh, write the codes in few seconds so here exactly before before creating the data based child i'm checking that if child is existed existing in database or not understand so after that uh, you have to create this uh, video call class understand and if there is uh, some data exist so what we will do we will simply go to the incoming class done now here we are having bundle and in that bundle we are receiving actually two data you can see nope not two data only one data i guess yeah and uh, firebase messaging service we removed everything if and else understand so here in this uh, check video call uh, you have to give the value uid because in this incoming we are having this uid done that's all now after that we have to go in this outgoing activity and uh, yes above so just uh, close these methods join meeting nope not this one and uh, cancel vc and we have this deckline button okay so reference close it now go above and uh, one more reference and that is going to be video call reference and uh, for that you can open this check video call here and uh, copy this reference from here control plus c I prefer copy pasting because it's uh, it reduces the chance of uh, errors yeah that's why so just below this paste it and uh, video call reference now we have the reference done so here you can see that we are sending the call invitation so just after that here you have to write is just before that initialize a model class that is uh, video call model video call model video call model 
and model nope video call model semicolon and uh, then video call model equals to new video call model then semicolon now we can proceed so here you can see that we are sending the call invitations so what exactly we will do we will simply create a child in database here and uh, in this check video call class we are checking that if child exists or not and and if child exists so we will go to incoming activity if it is not existing then thing will happen done okay so here uh, you have to write is uh, video call model dot set to caller uid and that is sender uid not send call sender uid and then after that video call reference then dot child is going to be receiver uid and then it is going to be set value and that is going to be video call model done semicolon so here you can see that uh, we have given the reference and uh, when user will click on making a call when user will click on that video icon in message activity so we will come to this outgoing activity and then here we will create a child in real time database understand and when the child is created so we will validate that to uh, data change here understand so this part is done with this outgoing i guess yeah so after that you have to come here in this so uh, yeah video call incoming and uh, we have to add uh, ringtone feature yeah ringtone feature so for that for that what we have to do is uh, just to yes so for ringtone just to go ahead of here and uh, simply write media player media player and uh, simply write mp Madhya Pradesh and uh, then after that just come here Inside this all and uh, do try and catch in case of error understand sometimes so you know the version and all creates crashing so that's why for preventing crashing i'm just using try and catch so after that uh, here uh, we need the uri and uh, that is going to be notification notification equals to ringtone manager we will use and ringtone manager then don't get default uri and that is going to be ringtone manager again and uh, write type ringtone done and semicolon and then here you have to write mp media player equals to media player dot create and that is going to be get application context you have to pass here and then after that the notification that semicolon and then after this mp dot start so you know guys when this activity will open so by default it will start playing the ringtone done now we but i mean that whenever you will receive the call so whenever this activity will launch so it will start playing the your default ringtone default ringtone of the device done now when you will accept the call so we need to stop the ringtone so simply write mp dot stop done and when you will call when you will cut the call so also we need to stop it so simply write mp dot stop done and uh, also when the user will cut the call from calling side so here also you have to stop it mp dot stop and uh, one more thing that here you have to give is uh, mm, yeah create call on back pressed and uh, just copy the codes of decline button control plus c and uh, very bottom and you have to paste it here and when you will press the back button so it will also cut the call and it will also stop the ringtone done and so everything is uh, absolutely good so we implemented the ringtone feature and we are also handling the ringtone when we have to stop when we have to start understand and uh, I guess almost uh, coding part is uh, done. Mm. Model check video class is done. Messaging part, outgoing part is complete. We are just saving the data and inside this incoming. Yeah, everything is good. So after that, uh, you know what we have to do is just simply open main activity. Main activity. So now, guys, you know what here we have to do. We have to simply, you know, uh, check the check that if data exists or not. So for this, what here you have to do is simply open this main activity and uh, simply write video call, check video call, I guess. Yeah, that is our class, check video call, then semicolon and inside on create, initialize this check video call equals to new check video call and uh, semicolon. 
now after that you have to do is uh, simply check video call dot check incoming that's all understand so now the tutorial code part is done so now i will explain you everything so you know guys when you will click on the video icon so it will start the call and you will go to this video calling activity understand and here you will create this database you will create this child in real time database understand so when this uh, uh, child is created and you will click on that so it will send a notification and the notification will contain the message that social book incoming video call so when the user will click on that notification so user will go to the main activity because we are using this uh, pending intent here so you can see that we have given main activity so when user will click on that notification so user will come here in this main activity and when this main activity will launch so we will check that uh, if uh, check incoming have some data check incoming have some data in this uh, real time database and if data is existing so you can see that we are we will go with this caller id to this incoming call and when we will go to this incoming call so it will automatically start the call and when you will receive the call it will also start playing the ringtone default ringtone understand so that is how everything will work and this video is you can say this video will complete this video call functionality and for this guys you know uh, you guys may be thinking that i can do this whole coding part in this main activity directly but the reason behind making this separate class is you know for example not only in main activity in case if you are on the chat activity message activity question answer asking replying activity or you can say um, comments activity so what you have to do you just have to only uh, declare the variable and initialize it like this in every activity so whenever uh, there is a change in video calling reference so it will automatically take the user to the you can say incoming activity understand so that's why you have to do this and uh, you can just use this uh, check video call method in all the activities you don't have to write this uh, whole code again and again that's why i created a separate class so you can so you can just simply initialize it and call the method here and it will rest things will work understand so you can see that uh, the tutorial is almost done this time when you will run the application so it will work absolutely good and uh, you are and you know the problem of uh, that notification v and sender uit is now solved so that's why and uh, for membership i mean for uh, source code you can join the membership and uh, if you will join the third level i will provide you the complete apk file with a separate firebase account so if you guys like this tutorial so please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching